What's up, my name is TechNobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So in this video, it's going to be a quick update or part two to a previous video of mine where I showed you how to change your audio language only in Apex Legends. What does that mean? Well, it's pretty popular to get your characters in game to speak Japanese while the rest of the UI and the game is in English or whatever your native language is. As you can see, if I hop into game quickly, my game is in English. However, if I go ahead and hop into say training, as you can hear, they're definitely not speaking English. So of course, this is what the previous video showed you how to do. And of course, it would be very good to turn on subtitles so you can understand what's going on. But regardless, how exactly do we turn this off and go back to a fully English game, UI and audio included, or of course, whatever language you use by default? Well, it's really simple. Let's go ahead and quit out of the game and get back to our desktop. Simply open up Steam and navigate across to Apex Legends. Right click Apex Legends and click Properties. Then inside of this window over here, simply look in the Launch Options section for the very end where we have plus miles underscore language space Japanese. We added this in the previous video to change the audio language and of course we downloaded the audio files. Now, while you think removing this may be good enough to reset your game, it will still have the language that was set here and it'll look for these files even if you delete them out of the game's directory. In fact, if you delete the audio files for the secondary language you have, the game simply won't start. What we have to do first is set miles underscore language to a language of our choice. In this video, I'll be setting it to English, the same language as my UI. So I can close this and then click play. And let's hop back into training. Now, let's see if this has fixed itself. Welcome to Apex Legends. And as you can see, the language has changed back to English. Awesome. Now that we've gone ahead and set the Miles language back to our default language, we can go ahead and delete the secondary language files from our game directory if you'd like to save four gigabytes or so. So I'll simply Alt F4 out of the game, right click Apex Legends, hover over Manage, and then click Browse Local Files. Inside of the audio folder and the ship folder inside of that, you'll find the secondary language files over here. You can of course leave them here or you can delete them or move them to another folder. I'll simply move them back a folder to show you that this does work as if you don't reset the miles language in the launch options, the game will simply crash out on launch. So I'll right click Apex Legends once again, properties, and this time if you'd like, you can remove miles language completely and close it. Let's go ahead and fire up the game. And as you can see, it's still working. I can go ahead and hop into a game. Everything is working as expected. If you didn't change the Miles language back to English, it would crash out before reaching this section over here and you'd have to reset it in the options. If you simply deleted the Japanese files and removed Miles language, the game would simply crash out. In order to fix it from that state, simply enter Miles underscore language English text languages for your screen. Then the next time you launch up the game, you should have both the audio and the graphic files required. If you still don't and it's crashing for some reason, simply verify your game's files and you should be fine. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.